All right, so I may have unknowingly swam with a crocodile. Hello everyone, my name is Just Mike and welcome to Sensatious Hiatus where I highlight my travels and share information with you on how I made those adventures happen. So a couple videos ago in this Australia work and holiday series, I released a video highlighting my travels in Litchfield National Park and in that video I showed a lot of footage of myself and fellow travelers swimming in various swimming holes. Now when I was editing that footage, I came across a rather disturbing piece of my own footage and we'll just get right to it. This was at Wangy Falls and basically I was in waist deep water about to go for a nice swim and I noticed a fish in the water and I was just getting a quick clip of this little dude swimming by and I didn't really think anything too interesting of it at the time but let's roll that back a little bit because you might have missed it too. Keep an eye on the left part of the frame. I guess it's possible that it's a log, but I think it's a crocodile, and I was completely oblivious to it. I actually just waited on by it, went for a good 20 or 30 minute swim, and it's not like I was the only one getting in the water. Other people were swimming right by it too. <laughs> and anyways, I thought this would be a good example of why you need to be extra careful if you decide to go swimming in Australia's top end. Crocodiles have existed on this planet for millions of years for good reason, and they will see you before you see them. So just be extra careful out there, everyone. I'll leave some links below that provide a lot of good information to crocodile safety in the Northern Territory and feel free to subscribe or leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Was this a crocodile or was this a log? 